Hi, welcome to EK Penny, where we're saving the earth one tip at a time. I've got a squeaky garage door. I'm going to try and fix it and lubricate it to reduce the squeak and see how I go. So it is worthwhile maintaining your equipment and your house and your car and that sort of thing. You want to reduce things breaking. If you don't maintain things and they break, you've got to manufacture whole new parts which costs money, uses resources like electricity, oil, produces greenhouse gases. So you want to look after the stuff that you've got to try and make it last as long as possible and maintain it. So I've got some spray grease. It's sort of a lithium silicon type of garage door spray specifically to lubricate garage doors. So I'll put a photo on the screen what it looks like. But there's a few different products you can get. The spray is a bit better because you can spray the spring from a little bit of a distance. Actual thick grease would be even better, but it's just really hard to access where that garage door spring is. So we'll try the spray and see how we go. So we're just gonna do a decibel test before the garage doors are lubricated. Maximum's about 70 for the left one. Try the other door. So maximum about 77 for the right hand door. Right hand door on this side's definitely worse. So looking at this, the maximum's 83 actually. It's a maximum setting there if you can see it. So with these roller doors you can only do this technique if there's a gap and the doors down if there's a gap here and you can access the spring so I'm gonna to have to look where the spring is in a minute. If it's still rolled at the top here then it's more complicated. You're gonna to have to take these rails off and actually slide the door down beyond where it goes and sort of fold it onto the floor. So it's a lot more involved. So you can wind it down to get it access to this, but lucky there's a space here. So I've just got a mirror here. So you can see at this end, there's that torsion spring goes to about here and you've got a bar there's a point there to lubricate another point there to lubricate if you can see it and there's another spring on this side so we're going to do the two springs on this section and those bits in the middle So you just need a mirror and a head torch to do that bit. So safety first, make sure you've got eye protection on and gloves on. Head torch just makes it easier. You can use your hands to do what you're doing. I'm just going to use a bit of metho and a rag. You see all that grime there? There you go, nice and clean. So it's important not to lubricate these side rails. While I'm here, I might as well use a broom to dust the bottom of the doors as well. So we'll see if it's made any difference. Yeah. 
looked about 70 for the left door. Still getting a peak at 83. Average is 56. So I might just run it up and down a few more times. I'm just going to spray these bits on the back of the door. It looks like it's scraping a little bit when the door rolls up. So I don't know if that will help at all. So that's the third treatment. I haven't eliminated the noise, but subjectively it does feel quieter than before. could improve a little bit more after a few days of it the grease sort of working its way into the springs so I hope you enjoyed that bit of garage door maintenance I didn't get rid of the squeak entirely but I did reduce it a little bit so it sounds a little bit better and it should last longer with this maintenance so thanks for watching put in the comments if it helped or you've got any other ideas don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel to see more thanks for watching and see you next time so just three days later after letting all the lubricant soak in i think there's an even bigger difference <laughs>